Hello friends, it's time for another video. Yes, it is. And today we are doing geometric micro French combination with monochromatic, oh, I can't even say that, monochromatic elements. So this is another fall winter trend, um, but I went a little different this time. I wanted to make it maybe a bit I don't know if Christmassy is the word for it. I don't feel like it's really Christmassy, but yet it's not, um, it's not just a straight up fall either. I think it's a, a combo. I think it could be a very classy fall or winter or even New Year's or possibly Christmas look. We're going to be using pewter and straight up black. And the last one is purely white, pure white, purely white, pure white to create this look. So what I did is I coated with Star Lily's um, ruby and then their red glitter or their red jelly. Sorry, can't talk. <laughs> their red gel, the red jelly. Oh my goodness. Their red jelly polish. And now we're going to go in and do a kind of a combination we're going to do some micro French kind of effect, but we're also going to do some geometric lines uh, with the silver and the black. And I'm going to have to keep <laughs> dabbing some new polish. The reason why is because this I'm using stamping polish for this. You do not have to use stamping polish for this. You could use acrylic paints um, and they would work just fine. It just happened to be what I grabbed, but because of that, they dry very, very quickly. And therefore, I had to keep dabbing on a little bit more paint onto my palette. So the good thing is, is that they also dry very quickly on the nail. So they dried very quickly in between. So I was able to go back in and grab the different uh, colors pretty quickly. So with this look, I probably could have simplified this look by just blobbing on a bunch of paint and then going back over it with the white and then going back over it with the silver. I didn't want to do that. And the reason why I didn't want to do that is because I didn't want the paint to end up too thick on the end of the nail. So it is 100% an option. I also wanted to add uh, or leave some negative space, which you'll see. I think you saw it at the beginning real quick and you'll see it at the end photos as well. You could 100%, like I said, do this where you sort of go in with a thick coat of one paint and then add the other colors on top. I've done that before as well, but I didn't do it with this particular set because like I said, I was hoping to be able to keep the paint thin on the edge of the nail. I didn't want it to get thick or blobby. This is a hand painted look, so it's not intended to be completely perfect as it would be if we were using stamping. Um, you want to have a little bit of that uh, home made homemade is that the word I'm looking for hand painted look to it so I'm gonna keep going from nail to nail with this it's a pretty quick look it probably take you I'd say 15 maybe minutes in the salon to do all 10 nails so that is also really nice because it's a quick easy one you could do a hundred different variations of the design I did I love it as a inspiration design we'll say because you could change this up many, many ways, just depending on your preference and what you feel like doing on a given day. You could do just one or two of these nails. You could do all 10. Um, you could copy, you know, like five and five. So anyway, lots of just fun, different ways to do this. I love the glass effect underneath this because the glass effect with the glitter and then the very stark, solid paint um, that didn't have a lot of translucence to it and has a much more opacity to it made a nice stark and classy look to the overall nail in general. I hope you guys are having a great fall at this point. I think when this video comes out, it'll be almost Thanksgiving. Oh, how scary. <laughs> well, in the U S anyway, in the U S it's almost Thanksgiving. <laughs> That is only a, a nice holiday, I believe. I don't think anywhere else. I mean, there's, I know there's different things um, that go on, you know, in other countries, but I don't think anyone has quite the same uh, turkey dinner day. It's really what it is. Turkey and football in the U.S. I'm not a football fan, but it's turkey and football in the U.S. 
I also have a bunch of other videos out. So if you have not checked out some of the other fall trends, fall winter trends for 2023, do check out some of those other looks. There's a lot of things going on this fall as far as um, different, really varied and different nail art designs for the fall and winter. Um, not all the looks go together. Some of them do. I've done some videos where I've combined looks. I've done other videos where you really look just working with one look. The micro French and the boomy, boomy baby. Wow. <laughs> My speaking ability today, the baby boomer ombre French is also, um, a popular look this fall. Both of those, uh, so they're much more bold than previously. Previously, we saw a lot of baby boomer uh, Frenches that had this, you know, soft pink and white, soft uh, kind of peachy and white, soft pinks and whites. It was just like, you know, this nonstop uh, sort of pastel -y washed out look. Now they're getting much more bold, so you might see more of a almost kind of a traditional ombre in a way where you've got a darker color at the back and then the white on the tip or even just like a really soft uh version so you might have like for example a dusty purple at the back and then a really light lilac -y purple in the front and the blend together i love that uh they're moving more towards that because i am not a big french girl i like it i like that it's clean I just find it also incredibly boring after a while. <laughs> That's me though. You know, you're talking to the girl who likes glitter and bold and fun. So yeah. If you like baby boomer franchise, that's awesome. I, I applaud you. I think that's great. I just can't, I can't quite get there. So this look, you can see I had to fix my brush a couple of times. I have a, a bristle that likes to get out of alignment and uh, I have to go back in and settle it down. One of the things I'm doing, uh, so if you're drawing lines with a thin brush like this, one of the things you want to do is sort of swirl your brush into the paint. So you can see as I'm going along, when I'm loading my brush, I'm kind of dragging it through and twisting it at the same time so that it loads somewhat evenly. And what that does is it helps your lines stay thin so that you're not ending up with a super thick line in any one place. There are a couple of places and times where uh, my brush gets a little bit too thick and it's, you can see, I left those in here. You can see it's easy enough to go back in and just touch it back up with that other color after you're done. Um, I'm trying to think of what, there was something else I wanted to tell you guys about this and I don't remember what it was now. I am using offset angles, uh, on this. So there's a lot of side, uh, side V's as opposed to the dead on V with, which we've seen previously with Frenches and then also in some cases more of a half moon, but it's a very fine thin half moon because the micro French is the, you know, it's the way to go right now. I really enjoyed the way the set came out overall. I thought it was a lot of fun. It reminded me honestly <laughs> of the eighties and early nineties. <laughs> it's like my animal print set. If you haven't seen that one, <laughs> uh, the animal print foils. I love those too, but also very indicative of the, uh, like early, late eighties, early nineties, um, where there were a lot of bold prints and, and bold colors and lots of fun. If you have not yet done so, please do like subscribe and share for me. It helps my channel grow. And I also really appreciate anytime someone comments. So feel free to comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me if you think there's an easier way to do some of the things I'm doing. I am happy to take constructive criticism as well. If there's something you think really didn't work or you didn't like, <laughs> we all have our own opinions about things. Um, I have been a nail tech for a lot of years, so there's things that I'm always learning. So I'm always learning something new. I love to learn something new. I love to learn a new way to do it. Um, so anything you have to share is always welcome. As long as you're polite, you gotta be polite though. <laughs> so this is one of the micro French nails and this nail also has some negative space in it as well as the lines. And you can see I'm just going in and using the tip of my brush pretty lightly. And then I get a little heavier as I go on because I decided I wanted to fill it in just a little bit more. And I'm going to bring that down and just make a small little 
connection at the end. One of the other things that uh, is kind of fun about this set is, like I said, you can do this in a lot of different ways. You can go at it from a lot of different angles. You could, we could have certainly added some gemstones and shapes and different things up further on the nail. I wanted to keep this one sort of French-esque. I'll say that French-esque because it's not quite a French. Um, more of a modern French. So I tried to leave most of that, you know, backspace as free space. The nice thing is that these look really good on stiletto nails. They look really good on coffin nails. They look really good on square nails. So this type of uh, design you could use literally on just about any kind of nail you can imagine. And then it's just a lot of, you know, really time. I didn't speed this video up uh, at all at this point. So the very beginning I did just a tad because you didn't really need to see me uh, prepping and putting things together. And I've cut out a lot of that kind of stuff where I had to pause and grab paints and things like that. But as far as the timing itself, this is actually in real time. So it really did take me about 15 minutes to get all the colors set out, figure out what I wanted to do, and then apply the design to the five nails. So if you were doing this in a salon, you already had your idea set up, you know, you could probably do all 10 in that same amount of time. Again, leaving some negative space. I really love the way the white, the black, and the silver look on top of this red. It really came together beautifully. But you could 100% do this in different colors. We could have done it with like a dark red instead of a silver or a gold. I think would have also been really pretty. Maybe next time. The biggest thing I think is making sure that you go slow and you can see I'm using my, the entire length of the brush there when I'm making those longer lines and then going back with the tip to just straighten out any rough edges. The heavier your brush is loaded with paint, it would seem counterproductive, but the heavier your brush is loaded with paint, the easier and the crisper your line is going to be. If your paint is dry, or you have not loaded enough paint on your brush, you're more likely to get a broken line and a line that's fuzzy at the edges. And you don't really want that because then you end up having to go back over it and over it and over it. Um, and what will happen eventually is that you end up with a really thick line. Obviously nobody wants that. Or at least not in this look. You also do want to make sure that you clean off your brush pretty regularly in between. Sometimes I don't clean it off if I'm going from lighter to darker, but I always clean it off if I'm going from darker to lighter because you don't want to accidentally introduce the other colors. Then you just have a mess. Painting, painting, painting. I haven't done anything hand painted in a while, so I was really excited to do this set. I feel like I've done a lot of stamping and ombre and stuff like that lately. Blooming gel. Ooh, if you haven't checked out my stone nails, go check those out. Those are really fun. And they were really fun. I want to do more of those. <laughs> All right, we are down to top coat. So once I got the design all set, remember I said this dries very quickly. I am floating my top coat. So I floated top coat over the whole thing because I don't want to drag one piece into the other. And this is them finished. Aren't they so pretty? Love the, I love the black against the red and the silver against the white. It's lovely. Enjoy. I'll see you again soon.